Let me see. Oh, these look beaming to me. Shay, shay. <laughs> oh my God, I am 33. Hey guys, so today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new collection from Makeup by Mario. It is the Soft Sculpt Collection. Now it came with this little book and it is explaining all the different products and everything in here. And it just shows all the different stuff. So there is a bunch of different products that came and I was not expecting this. So I'm very excited to be giving it a try today. It comes in this big, amazing PR package. I'll show you what it looks like. Very sleek, very nice looking. I'm very happy. This is what it looks like here. And it comes in these drawers and in each drawer is a different product. In the first drawer, we have the soft sculpt shaping stick. So these are like essentially like a contour stick. And then they have a bunch of different shades. So we've got everywhere from light, light, medium, 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 dark, dark, and dark deep. The soft pop blush stick. And apparently, so I watched all of Mario's videos on these on Instagram. And I wanted to see like how he is using these and like what, you know, recommended application techniques and stuff like that. And everything in this collection from what I saw him say, he was talking about how they're sheer and buildable and you start off with the cream products and you can finish off with the powders and it shows some different application techniques. So I'm gonna be doing all of that today. Oh, there are brushes in here. I was wondering, cause he talks a lot about the brushes and I didn't see them. This is the Soft Sculpt Bronzer and this comes in six shades and this one says there was a shipping delay so it didn't come, but that's okay because that's deep dark. So I wouldn't be able to use that one for my skin tone anyway. And then the dual ended bronzer and blush brush. So I'll hopefully be giving these a try today. The Soft Pop Powder Blush and these the packaging on these is nice, but I'll talk about that in a second. And then we've got the dual ended highlighter blush brush and the final is the soft glow highlighter and apparently from what i saw him say in a video is that he wanted these to be for the everyday makeup wearer not for like tv not for the kardashian contour and blush technique for every day so that we can go out into the world and it's not like oh this bitch tried to do the contour technique like it's supposed to look kind of effortless and flawless and easy and unclockable is the word that he used especially in regards to the highlight because he said that beaming highlight is out and if Mario said it, well, I guess it's true. So I'm just gonna be giving these products a try. Like I said, I watched a couple of videos on his Instagram, all the ones that I could find. And I saw him like applying this on people and I saw some of the techniques that he used. So I'm just gonna give it a go. And I've obviously got my base done already. My base I, for today is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation mixed with the Auric Glow Lust in the shade Selenite. My eyes are already done. It's just, this is the melt stack that I talked about in one of my recent videos and loving it still. Use it every time I've done my makeup so far. So I was not wrong. I really love it. Lashes are the Ardell Dummy Wispies and that's, that's it. So let's go. So I'm going to start off with the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. And it says here, this dual ended stick features a custom brush and combines my signature contouring technique into one simple product that creates an effortless soft sculpted look. Well, okay. So it is one side is the product that you have here. And then the other side is a brush. Now this, because this doesn't retract in when you put the cap on, I've already noticed it wants to like fray the brush out. I think that is one thing that maybe could be improved on this is if this little plastic sheath covered this so that you could push this on. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? How it like sort of sprays or sp like sprays sprays the bristles out. So this is the shade light medium. I don't know if that's the one for me. Maybe I'll go with light. Let's see. I'm gonna go in with light to start. And then if it's not right, well then we'll go in with medium, light medium. Nobody says I can't. So the way that he applies these in the video is he says to give a soft smile and then to apply the product a little bit higher than your cheekbones. And he like does a stripe of it and then he gently pats it out with the brush side. So let's try. I think that's the right color actually. And then he pulls out the brush side, which this one has like these little bumps on it. Can you see? And then he says, don't rub. I can't remember why he said not to do that, but he said like tap it out. And I did not set my face. I used those products and I just left it. So there is no powder on my face at all. I'm just gonna tap, no like swiping at all. I'm gonna pull a mirror out real quick. See if I can notice it like picking up anything. I feel like I'm not sure. I think I was super pregnant at the time when, that the other Makeup by Mario products launched. I don't know that I've actually tried any of the other products from them. So let me know, do you like his other products? I know that they're in Sephora. And from what I saw that he just expanded to like a two bay gondola. So it's like he, his brand is expanding. The products look really nice. I like the packaging. Everything's very minimal and sleek. So it doesn't seem to be picking up any product 
beneath. And you know what? That does look very natural and it kind of is unclockable. Mario. All right, let's try this side. So one quick swipe and then tap. I feel like it's just um, instinct to want to like rub. That's what she said. But a stippling technique really does blend almost better. I remember back when I was doing a ton of body painting, when you are blending out your like white color on top to add your highlight, if you like rub, it's not gonna work out. But when you stipple, it just blends beautifully, especially with cream. Well, I'll be damned. That looks really nice, like really nice. And I think that he was saying that when he would do makeup on somebody like in the real world, you're going out, you're going to work, you're gonna have makeup on like, you're not a celebrity on a red carpet, that he wouldn't like super contour the face, that he would leave it a lot more natural. I'm gonna do a little bit like up here because for me, I need a little more color around the perimeter of my face, but there is another bronzer product as well. And he did mention in the videos that you want to use a smaller brush up here around the hairline because at least for him, when he's doing it on like celebrities, he doesn't want to mess with the hair at all. And you know what? I feel like this color is really good for me. I feel like this light shade, if you have a similar skin tone to me, this is a very natural color. It's not at all overdoing it with like a crazy bronzer look. He said that he created these to be a neutral shade as well. So they're not super warm and they're not super cool. They're just kind of perfectly neutral. And you know what? I feel like that looks really nice. And it is nice and sheer. As you can tell, it's not at all harsh. You like wouldn't look at me and be like, oh, this bitch is wearing so much makeup. You'd be like, she's got cheekbones. And I'd be like, I don't, I don't have cheekbones. This face is circular and that's okay. Us round heads need love too. Tell that to my baby. He has got the roundest head ever. I love you so much, honey. Okay, so this is the Soft Pop Blush Stick. So this says, this dual-ended blush stick features a custom brush and is my favorite way to add a healthy flush of color to the cheeks. So this is supposed to be more sheer as well. None of these products are apparently extremely pigmented. I watched him do a video trying these out. So I'll show you the different colors that we've got. Oh, see, that's kind of annoying. When you go to pull off the top part to look at the color, you end up pulling up the brush tip. So this is one of the first shades. This is Earthy Pink. I'll do a little a circle of that on my hand. So that's earthy pink. That's really pretty. Dusty rose. That's very pretty as well. Pale petal. Soft coral. Woo! Look at that shade. Holy moly. Raspberry and plumberry. Ooh, that is stunning. So I saw him on his videos on Instagram use these on a couple of different models and they look really beautiful. They're very sheer and buildable and really pretty. So I'm just gonna test out and see what I think. I feel like the one I am vibing with the most today might be earthy pink. I don't know, I'm just kind of feeling this shade. He said, smile a little bit. And he always starts off this way, which I was surprised by, but smile a little bit and then put it towards the back of the face here and then take the brush and do the same thing. So it does have that dual ended brush. So that is nice. So you don't have to pull out multiple products and then just tap. Let's look in person and see. Wow, these are lovely. He's absolutely correct in that they really are a very soft, sheer, but not like too sheer. It's not like you're not putting on any product. It's just like not so heavily pigmented that you're gonna F up your makeup. Like the Rare Beauty ones are pretty, but they're so pigmented that you have to be very like gentle with them because they're like a lot. So if you struggle with those or you're looking for a nice cream product, these are really easy to work with. And I, I like this little brush. I like that it's all in one. Anything that can make my makeup go faster and has a product in it that I can't lose, I like. That's very nice. I just gotta say, I'm very impressed. He also mentioned um, like putting a little bit of blush on the nose for like that sort of today's day and age vibe. Everybody's kind of into that blushy nose thing now, which I'm, you know, I'm into it. Brush is very soft and just kind of does its job. Let's see if that removed any product. It kind of seems like it might have. A little bit, but honestly, these products look beautiful. Like I feel like they're just blending lovely. I have no issues so far at all. Other than this, I really, this is this is kind of a pain in the ass. Gotta be really careful about it. You see how like the, br the bristles want to do that. Uh, come on. Okay, these are very, very pretty blushes. Like I really enjoy all of the different shades. I like how it has a nice gradient down to a very deep skin tone. So you could really use that on a variety of different skin tones. And I even feel like So then you have the Soft Sculpt Bronzer, and I say Sculpt every single time, and I'm, and I'm sorry. It comes with this brush, which, well, I don't think it comes with this. You'd have to buy it separately. This is the Dual-Ended Bronzer Blush Brush. I'm not a fan of dual-ended 
brushes. I never have been. Uh, this packaging is very nice, by the way, for these powders. It feels like an aluminum, maybe. It might be plastic, but it feels like an aluminum and it has a nice magnet on it. So this is the shade Light. And he said the same thing with these. They don't have fallout. Apparently, let's see. He's not a liar. Look. No fallout at all, literally none. I feel like this is a very light product as well. Sort of fits with the application techniques of today's day and age though. People are wanting lighter, less obvious makeup a lot of the times. Not always, I mean, some people love that heavy makeup look and I've always been one of those people as well, but as times change, like I'm starting to really like this look as well a lot. By the way, I did my hair like this because this is how the models all did it and it doesn't quite hit the same on me. Like I said, round head, but you know. So he said he likes to take the other side, which is this one here, like the smaller side for the hairline so that you're not disturbing the hair. And it's honestly, because I have this other product on, it's kind of hard to even see this one because I have the cream product on. Like I can't even really tell what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a little bit of this down here so I can see what the product looks like, but it's very sheer, like very, very, very sheer, which I don't hate. Especially because sometimes it's really easy to overdo it with this kind of a product. I don't know if you guys have that issue as well, but I can find myself sort of overdoing it with a bronzer and then having to like tone it down with putting a little bit more foundation over the top. But with this, it seems like it'd be a little harder to overdo it because it is a very sheer wash. It's almost like a sheer face powder with pigment, like a translucent. It's hard for me to give a review on something like this. I feel like if that's kind of the vibe you're looking for, you might like it, but it's so hard for me to say because like I'm applying it, but it's like, you can't really tell, but maybe that's the point, you know? And I think it is from everything that I saw. Well, now I can see some color going on right now. This isn't typically an area that you would put bronzery stuff on, but if you're trying to contour, I said that in one of my last videos, people were like, what do you mean? I've been putting bronzer on my neck. Typically you don't want to put bronzers on your, on your neck because that's not where like the sun would hit. You'd want to more contour those areas, but these aren't bronzers. So it's fine. Let's do it. Nobody says, who says we can't? Certainly not Mario. He says Mario. He said makeup by Mario. Am I saying it wrong? Is it Mario? I'm oh, sorry if I am. Okay, so that product, it's a little harder for me because it is so sheer. Did it do anything? I don't know, but I feel like my face looks amazing right now. Like I'm very, very happy with the way that my contour and blush is looking. I really like those cream products. I could see myself using them again, for sure. And these are the Soft Pop Powder Blushes. Now, if you're not into creams, he did say like you can layer all of these things, but um, if you're not into creams at all, then you can definitely go with the powder versions of these. This is the shade Mellow Mauve, very pretty. Blush is what's in right now. This is Desert Rose, beautiful. Creamy Peach, ooh, this is my bitch right here. Ooh, Poppy Pink and Wild Berry. Feeling a little desert rose right now because of what we've already got going on. Ooh, these brushes are really soft. I wonder if these are synthetic. I'm gonna have to look. They almost feel synthetic, but they, cause they're so soft, they feel like they could be some sort of an animal fur. Okay, so the blushes look a little less, oh, okay. They look a little less sheer. They are still a very sheer wash of color, especially says I'll do this and I'll like put it on my hand so you can see. See how it's not going on so heavily pigmented? It's just like, you can still see my skin through it. So it is definitely sheer. And he mentioned that you can like set the cream products with these powder products, but that you don't need both of them. Obviously you don't need anything. Makeup is a, an absolute non-necessity. But I feel, I, Mario, <laughs> these are nice. These are nice. I am the most excited to try these highlighters though because he did say, so it says this silky luxe highlighter melts into your skin and creates that effortless back from the beach glow. He did mention in that video that highlighter is all about less is more. Now, you don't want that clockable glow. You don't want it to look like beaming highlighter anymore. And you know, okay, fine. Call me out, why don't you? This is the first shade, this is opal. Let me see, oh. These look beaming to me. Shay, shay. <laughs> oh my God, I am 33. And then we've got Pearl, which, ooh, that looks really nice. That's Pearl. Maybe they, oh, okay. I can see how that would definitely apply more sheer. I feel like Pearl's gonna be the color for me. And we've got Golden right here. Let's try it here. Oh wow, they're, they feel unique. They feel almost like, Silk, it's very, oh, it's silky luxe highlighter. Okay, yeah, they do. They have like a very, when you're putting them on, 
they have like this very almost like silicone-y feel to it in a really good way. They feel like they would absolutely just glide right on the skin. Ooh, this is the shade Bronze. It doesn't feel like a traditional highlighter in a way. I'm gonna go in with Pearl on myself and see how this looks. So I'm gonna take it on this side of the brush, which is the F3. You can see it kinda got smushed up in the, in the PR box. So it's kinda messed up. But he said like take the smaller pointed highlighter brush and just sort of tap it over. And it should be just like a soft, sheer glow. Okay. I definitely see that. It's not at all that like beaming, beaming highlight like you can see with many different highlighters. Let me zoom you. Tapping into here, just like a gentle tap. You can see it kind of is that lit from within subtle glow that adds that really beautiful highlighted effect without looking like you just coated your face in glitter. I feel like I'm being kind of like a hype girl for this stuff. I guess I just, this is the vibe of makeup that I'm into right now. So it just feels like this is exactly made for the type of makeup I'm into in this moment. And so it just is like really, it's just slappy. So this is the glow. I completely agree with what he was saying in regards to it being just very subtle, very natural. I feel like you could really easily apply this. If, if you feel like highlighters are sort of overwhelming for you and you always over apply, you might really like this formula because I don't know that it would be easy to over apply with this. I'm gonna go with the shade golden a little bit and just sort of see if maybe it was just the shade I used or if they're all sort of this. Okay, this one is more intense. Yeah, you can see this one is a little more glowy. I feel like it's a little too much already. But maybe that's because it's not for my skin tone. It's more for like a medium skin tone, I would say. Okay, so sitting back, here is the full face. Okay, so up close and personal, there is zero negative feedback that I have. I can't think of a single thing that's negative other than in my personal opinion, what I already discussed. And that is that the brush, I feel like in a product that's supposed to be kind of like quicker for me, that's like a quicker product where I'm like applying it, do, 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 tap it out and go to like have to so gingerly put that cap back on. I have feel like that brush is just going to get fucked up. For me, it's going to start fraying out and becoming like kind of unsightly. Is that a deal breaker? No, not really for me but it might be for you. So you have to just know if that's gonna be something that's gonna bother you. Um, I'm gonna look up the price and see what we are looking at as far as price goes and if I think that these are worth the cost. So let's see here. Makeup by Mario. Um, Hello? Dude, my apps have been doing this lately. Like, hello? Okay. So the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick is $28. Soft Pop Blush Stick is $28. Soft pop powder blush and br um, bronzer. So the blush is 24. The bronzer in the powder form is 28. Highlighter is 28. So what do I think? Do I think those are worth the price? <sighs> For me, I would say that the bronzer and blush creams, absolutely, because you get the brush on the other side, you get the bronzer. Let's see, I don't know how much product. I'm gonna kind of roll it up and see how much product you get. If it's like a very tiny little amount, maybe not. I feel like that'll actually get you quite a long wear of makeup application. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it's pretty nice. I absolutely think that the products look beautiful. I don't know how they wear. He did say something about the blush technology and I believe he was saying that in the powder, saying that it has some sort of technology in it that makes it the longest wearing blush you can buy. Uh, I don't know anything about that. I've literally been wearing it for 15 minutes, but I can tell you that I totally agree in the fact that the products themselves are very easy to apply without over applying. They just sort of seem to have a very beautiful, seamless, sheer, but nice looking application. Like my face, I feel like you wouldn't look at this and be like, oh, this bitch is like covered in makeup. I mean, it's clear I'm wearing makeup because the blush is kind of heavy because I did go in with two products. But if I toned this down and went with a lighter color, I feel like you might just be like, she has perfect skin. And I'd be like, I know. And then I'd be like, wow, you're like a little bit cocky. And I'd be like, thank you. I know. And you'd be like, stop saying I know. I'd be like, I never will. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I just feel like these products just performed really, really well. I'm very impressed. I've never tried anything by Makeup by Mario. I see that there is this Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Never did try that. Well, there's a lot more products than I realized in this line. And I think I have some of these. 
but I don't know that I've tried any of these yet, but I feel like these products are pretty good. They are kind of expensive, $30 basically for one product. I mean, you have to determine if you think that's worth it. There are definitely good cream products out there that aren't this expensive. However, I will say that this is the application that I prefer. I like a cream like where you have to like dip in and stuff like that, but this to me in these times of my life where I have very minimal time to be putting makeup on, I like a product that's two in one. I just wanna toss it on and go. That is like my everything right now is the more you can combine in one product for me currently right now at this stage of my life, the better. If I have right there, bronzer, boop, 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 boop blush, boop, 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 just done. I feel like, I I even feel like you could have maybe comboed a nice highlighter, cream highlighter into this, but I feel like the highlighter especially is very beautiful. If you look at it, it truly does look like I'm just wet a little bit. It doesn't look like I put a bright powder highlighter on my face. Let me see if I have one in front of me that I can sort of show you the difference. So this is your like typical highlighter and you can see it's just like super blinding. And then this is the Makeup by Mario one where it is, it's just sheer and it does feel different. You will know what I mean if you can feel it where this feels like, like a typical powdery highlighter. This has like a very glidey consistency to it. I don't really know. It's just very unique. I don't know that I've felt a highlighter quite like it before. It might be worth, if you can, um, get out and about and if you feel comfortable doing so, it might be worth going to Sephora to actually feel how it feels. I don't actually know. Are testers even out anymore? I haven't literally been to a store in a year and a half. I don't know. I haven't been to Sephora in God knows how long. So if you feel comfortable doing so, you can. Otherwise, I feel like the products themselves are very unique feeling and I really, really like the cream products are very comfortable. They glide easily on the skin. And I feel like the application techniques that Mario discussed on his Instagram page are correct. Like, or obviously they're correct. It's his products, his demo. Like, yeah, no, I feel like he correctly uh, applied his own products. Shut up. But I will say like, it did make the difference. Absolutely. Cause I feel like I wouldn't have applied them the way that he suggested to do. And I feel like my face looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> I've never looked better. I'm gonna say these are an absolute win. You just have to determine if you think that price is something that you can swing. But if not, I think you could definitely return products to Sephora. So unless things have changed with pandemic and stuff, I don't know anything about that. And, and I, I don't know. So I'll definitely keep trying them in the future. I'll let you know what I think if I try them again and see if I think that they are worth your money. But I, for me, I'm gonna say this whole collection feels very, correctly timed. It feels like the perfect collection to launch in today's makeup climate that people want that sort of, is it even there? Is it there? It's just barely there. Oh, she has like the most amazing cheekbones. Is she even wearing makeup? Is, are his cheeks just like the most incredible bone structure or is that contour? We don't know. Maybe he just has that incredible bone structure. We don't know. And I feel like that's what people want in today's day and age. At least for me, that's what I want. When people look at me and be like, she is a put together mother. And I'd be like, definitely getting enough sleep for sure, 100% <laughs> help. I'm obsessed, I'm in love, and I think this collection is really, really good. I would go for the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick, Soft Pop Blush Stick, those are my two, and I would definitely go with the highlighter as well if you're wanting that very subtle, beautiful glow. If not, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with the powders, I really don't. And I like that there's kind of something for everybody in there, but you definitely don't need both. I wouldn't say, but if you like the, I mean, I just, I think this is a, this is kind of a bang in collection. Good job, Mario or Mario. I don't know. You say it, you, I've heard it both. I feel like this video felt like an undisclosed sponsorship <laughs> because everything was just so like positive. And I'm like, if you go to Mario's Instagram page, it felt like I had like talking points. I promise you with my whole entire heart, he does not know I exist. He likely never will. Not a singular person at that brand knows I'm making this video. Sometimes makeup just kind of slaps. Today felt a little bit slappy to me. Uh, sometimes I feel like people expect a negative review or it's not real. And sometimes I think it's just good, man. And that's that. And I'm, and I'm not sorry. A, a little bit, cause I'm still sitting here talking about it. And I feel like I need to explain myself, but you can see for yourself. I don't have to lie. Did I need to lie? Look at me. I've never looked better. And I kind of like my hair like this because my baby's not gonna be able to pull the shit out of it. He eggs it so hard sometimes you're like, you're seeing into another dimension. All right, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys liked today's video. It's kind of just straight to the point and straight to like a positive review. You never know. You never know. Makeup is kind of just good these days, but I love it when I get something like this that I feel like was created for a very specific purpose. And then to have that purpose on my face just look like what it was supposed to, you know? And I just, I feel stunning and I am. 
and you are too. All right, well, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, I will see you at my next video. Never in my life did I notice that this chair did this. Until I'm up here on video and you can hear every squeak throughout the entire video. My orange. Yeah. Did I really sat on? And it is the salt, salt, ha, ha. So in here we have the soft sculpt sheet. So this is the scoff, scoff sculpt schemes harm. This is the soft sculpt. Can I not say sculpt? Shit. So I'm gonna start off with the soft sculpt shape. Sculpt. Why do I say sculpt? <laughs> and combines my signature contract tank. <laughs> Hello, more she. Listen to this chair. Christy, get a new chair, for heaven's sake. There is a here. I don't have tweezers, so I'm gonna have to pull that out by my hand. And uh, I literally, 